Hello and welcome to Heroes of Terrador. I'm Kelly the Dungeon Master, and with me tonight, we've got Frank as Kirpan the Slon Rogue. We have Connor as Orbo Whipperwoods, the Forged Druid. We have Andy as Gronson Halfholm, the Gory Fighter, and Jill as Adhara, the Lycan Paladin. Where we last left off, um, the crew made a sneaky escape uh, from Salt Watch by, let's see, we, let's see, the party tricked the, uh, the Knights of Edenmore into taking a cursed fruit from uh, the Lich's tree thing, um, and instead of taking the, <laughs> yeah, this is the stream where the dude moved his pants. Um, instead of taking the eye like they thought that they were taking, um, I believe, who has the eye still? Kirpan. I think Gronson or Kirpan has it. One of them has it. I think Kirpan has it. Kirpan gave has it the orb and Ninja. That's right. Gronson was amnesia? given the fake one. Yes, uh, and he Kirpan. He had amnesia the whole time. Yeah, Kirpan from the uh, from the near death experience um, is hello. suffering from brain amnesia. <laughs> yeah, brain oh. damage, and uh, cool. is having trouble remembering his his teammates. Um, right. He uh, he was he was there enough to uh, follow through with with the eye swap plan. But he's still not sure of who the rest of you are. Um, cool. Uh, as you guys return the eye, you walked with Quint and Royan to go and fix the um, the portal, the Waystone portal, um, with the shipment of Waystones that were part of the Astral Knights caravan. Uh, the portal was fixed. You guys went through it. Um, oh, and you met Sojer. He finally talked to you guys. And uh, let's see. He complained about his wife going missing, kidnapped by a bunch of druids. And yeah. he also complained that uh, the Knights of Edenmore are not what they seem and that they're doing something weird. And therefore, he is hoping to speak with some of the Astral Knights and get some people to go... Uh, investigate the fort, the nearby fort, um, which I forgot the name of, but we'll find it in just a second. And uh, once he... He's, he's hoping to find some people that will go with him. So that, uh, what was it? Fort Bristlebane. He's trying to get to get a, a party of people to go investigate Fort Bristlebane and see what the heck is going on with these even more knights that seem to be up to no good. And uh, you guys came here, popped into uh, Old Astroloft, that's where you teleported back to, and uh, that's where we stopped, I believe. You guys were kind of deciding on what you wanted to do after making it back to Old Astroloft. It has been four days since you have met with the Lich, and so there's about six full days. One other thing to note is that as you traveled through the portal into Old Astroloft, uh, it you have found that outside the windows it is storming very vigorously outside. I'm still a giant elk, right? You are still a giant elk. Nice. <laughs> we Mint still have screaming. Hey, is my horse still with us? Uh, your horse is not. Your horse is with the caravan and should be back in Astraloft in the next two days or one day, really. I miss my horse. I mean, you'll be dead by then, or it won't be a problem, so, you know. I guess that's fair. <laughs> you dying in two days? <laughs> yeah. Look, I, Ed Hara, would like to get uncursed to be dead. <laughs> I, I feel like that would be kind of, kind of nice. Know, it sounds not. pretty selfish, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> what do we want to do? All right, fine, what do y'all want to do? I'm going to go back and talk to those crawdads. <laughs> I, I want to check out this sweet town. I'm gonna. I think we need to talk to some people around here, right? Are you are you kind of sneaking out away from everyone else here? I mean, I'm walking out the door, and then 
who knows what happens after that. Okay. Life's a mystery. Um, as, as you go to head out the door, um, the knight over here uh, looks at you and says, uh, your gear, please. What? Well, you've come into the town of hmm. Astroloft. We don't permit uh, weapons and other contraband, so you'll need to leave your weapons and other dangerous items um, over here in the locker until you return. All right. I, I hand over my rapier and short bow and try and conceal my dagger. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, uh, the law. As, as you've come in with Royan and Quent kind of right behind you, uh, the, the knight doesn't seem to really check you heavily, so you're 100% easy, easily get away with hiding the dagger on your body. All right. Um, she nods and says, uh, all right, have a good day. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> all right, as, as you uh, open the, the door, it's a torrential downpour outside, almost as if nothing has changed um, since you were in Salt Watch. Uh, the sky is a little bit dark, and uh, it's it's kind of hard to, to see super far because it's just so rainy. Um, you probably want to seek shelter. Oh, man. Maybe a non-lizard would. <laughs> Maybe. I love the water. I love the water. Find a nice, nice dark, secluded area to hole up in. All right. <laughs> A hole? Not no, like an alleyway. You know, somewhere where there's not oh, a lot okay. of people. Kind oh, he of actually alleyway. digs a hole in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, he like. Well, that's what it sounded like for a minute. I was like, like oh, right, bottom, whatever. Just start... <laughs> yeah, funneling through. So you're finding an alleyway. Um, there's there's a couple of different alleyways throughout here. Um, are you looking for anything in particular, or just uh, just finding a spot to kind of hide out? Just something that looks like people aren't gonna go over there. Okay. Uh, you, you find a, a, a corner that it seems to be uh, not particularly heavily traveled upon and uh, hide out in the corner there. All right. Well, wherever that is. Yeah, I'm that gonna, works. Uh, I'll open up my bag and rifle through it and try and find this <laughs> mysterious eyeball that I apparently have in my position. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's... Uh, it's re- or here, uh, can uh, can Edhara kind of explain what he has no, done with no. the with the thing? Not at all. I, I'm alone. I don't know. He he be away I mean, from like, what, what did it look like? You're looking at. Yeah. Okay. Was it just wrapped in a in like some cloth? I can't remember. Yeah, I just wrapped it in just some cloth. cloth. Okay, so yeah, you you see this cloth wrapping uh, of what seems to be something that's almost the size of like a baseball. Baseball. We got baseball in this world? Nice. All right, yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay, fine. Uh, a large cattle eye. Oh. That's a little that smaller. Matter? That's, That's a little smaller. Small All right, fine. Cattle you know what? It's a cow's eye is huge. like so much smaller. Cow's eyes are kind of big. Uh, all right, something that would be reminiscent it's of the orange. size of a baseball in this world, okay? <laughs> 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 it's probably not, not a baseball. <laughs> He is not permitting us to have baseball right, in this fantasy world. It is the size of a grapefruit. Is that better? A guava. Yeah. Much better. An American football. <laughs> <laughs> National standard. The and yeah. shape. The With size of the exact same amount of Roughly the size, the size, the size of Hulk Hogan's fist in the 1994 <laughs> Summer Super Slam. Yeah, exactly. Grand finale. That is exactly the size that I'm looking for. That's how accurate. How big that is. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to take a look at this thing and make sure that you what open, these people are opening are it and looking really... at it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, when you look at it, you see uh, like writhing tentacles. It almost looks like a, an octopus has, has uh, wrapped itself around itself a million times. And uh, cool. it's like writhing and moving around in a very gross and mm. disgusting kind of way. Or, or as 
uh, <laughs> some may say in a, a very sexy kind of way. Um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's also strangely mesmerizing, and uh, you're going to need to make a Constitution save. Thirsty. Ooh. Very good. You are extremely thirsty, and that is the only thing that you can think about, is how you need to find the closest body of water and drink as much water as you possibly can. Good thing it's raining. Yes. And it is overwhelming in your mind right now. That is the one thing that you can think of, and is the only thing you could ever dream of, is finding water and submerging yourself. Sir, are you well? All right. <laughs> are you okay? Are you like able to hold it together right now? <laughs> There's nothing left in this brain. <laughs> no more water. <laughs> well, I mean, like, okay, Kirkman's gonna be over here, like, slurping up mud puddles and stuff, I guess, because there's yeah. nothing else I can see. Yum, yummy. It's like in the grass, like, drinking water off the blades. Yeah, you would you'd be constantly searching for a body of water. It's, it's like, that is your paramount, that, that is the thing that you are focused on. Why don't you just go to a bar? He could? He could. I mean, that's the best yeah. body of water he's gonna find. It's a possibility. He's thirsty as me. Well, <laughs> he's near the stable, so he could go to the horse trough and try to drink from that. Never mind. Not gonna make that joke. Keeping it PG thirteen, kids. Yeah. <laughs> this is a G-rated stream. Get off of my Damn Minecraft right. server. <laughs> Damn. This is my Always. contract. <laughs> I'm not even allowed to swear. Well, as Kirpan is <laughs> desperately searching for a body of water, um, what have the rest of you kind of decided to do? I mean, did we notice you? Well, we did kind of we... It was like, hey, give me your badge or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I guess so this would be kind of follow, him. follow Follow him? I mean, yeah, he's got the freaking orb. Yeah, that's Chad Har's lifeline. That's true. Um, this man literally got my life in his hands, yeah. and he's out here drinking mud puddles. <laughs> as you uh, as you go to head out the door, the knight yeah, extends yeah, extends her hand and uh, asks for the same. Says, "Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll leave my sword and javelins." Thank you very much, and y'all be safe out there. It's a bit a bit strangely rainy. It wasn't just five or ten minutes ago, but who knows? Weather can change at any moment. That's not true at all. <laughs> but I can't say that because I'm a giant elf. <laughs> you no, can you... go, what? Yeah. You can be, oh. <laughs> the flying yeah. elf scream. But yeah, so I go out, I go outside, do I see Kerpan? Um, let's, let's do... Let's do a perception check then. This is an idiot. We're running out of algorithm. Just see. Perception fourteen. You're able to tell that he he kind of he's gone off to the to the corners. You're not really sure why, but you can see that he's kind of snuck off. It's not particularly okay. out of character of him to do such a thing, but yeah, no, of course not. I'm just gonna lean against like underneath a an awning or something and just kind of watch him for a minute, see what. What this weird little <laughs> lizard boy is doing? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> All right, and the others, I guess uh, Orbo, as you go to leave the door, uh, I'm, the, I'm Ash, the knight just looks at you and and kind of looks a little perplexed, and uh, Royan kind of uh, pipes up and says, "He's he's an elk. He's with me," and uh, yeah, brings you along outside. I was like, I follow Roy and gotta keep her safe. Yeah. I made a promise. Um, Sojour goes and uh, kind of hands over uh, like a small fishing knife, like a fillet knife that he had on him, and uh, proceeds to head outside under the awning. How about Grant's near? Yeah, well, I'll just hand over all my belongings as well, all of my dangerous 
materials and whatnot. <laughs> and all your follow stuff. everyone else outside. <laughs> yes, right. exactly. Being <laughs> druid is awesome. <laughs> All right, um, you are all outside under the awning as the rain continues to pour down. Um, so Jor looks at the rest of you and says, uh, now if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. I will head to the, uh, I guess the, the Fort Astroloft and see if I can gain uh, access to the leadership here. And uh, he begins ah. to head, head that way. Leaving the rest of you under the awning That's in the it. rain. We are under the awning in the rain, and I am <laughs> thirsty. You are a little bit thirsty. That is true. Thirsty. Does anyone want to join me in the at the tavern? Sure, I'll join you at the tavern. Uh, Perfect. Chad Hara, can you remind me something? Yeah, of course. Were you doing talk to beasts as like a ritual so you could talk to your horse? As it turns out, <laughs> paladins cannot cast spells as rituals, so I would have to spend a spell yeah. slot. I have nothing to say to you in my elky tongue. <laughs> Which, it doesn't make sense. Literally every other class can cast as ritual yeah. if they have it as a ritual, except for I'm, paladins. I'm guessing but... maybe it's because the paladins can swap their stuff every time. Is but that possible? Druids can oh, ritual yeah. cast. That's true. Like, druids, that's yeah. like a really big thing about druids is they yeah. can ritual cast. Yeah, I don't know. That seems kind of weird, but... I don't know. How, don't how long you. can Orbo stay in his animal form? Indefinitely, um, right? Uh, no, not indefinitely. It's hours. Uh, I can tell you how long. Okay. Well, it's only been like two hours for you, so... Yeah, it'll It feels like, you know, there. three weeks because it's been three weeks, but it's really only been like two hours. So I can stay in my B shape for a number of hours equal to half my druid level rounded down. So if it's been two hours, I may have just turned back because I'm level four. Okay. Form of an Orbo. Uh, well, now what? Also, do, where'd Kerpan go? Uh, and Hara will point to Kerpan slurping up a mud puddle. <laughs> Kerpan. <laughs> oh, excuse me for a second. I gotta... <laughs> Kerpan, you silly bastard. Come here. <laughs> we gotta fix your noggin, silly. <laughs> we gotta fix your noggin. It makes it sound like so much less bad when you say it that way. Does Orgo sound like the type of person who would be like, we gotta fix that hemorrhage in your brain. <laughs> fix that noggin. Yeah, I gotta fix that noggin. That think box ain't working quite right. <laughs> <laughs> so Orbo, you're going to check on Kerpan. Edhar, are you sticking around or are you also heading to get drinks with Gronson? Um, I trust Orbo to take care of Kerpan, so I'll get drinks with Gronson. Okay. Uh, oh, and I guess I'd ask uh, Royan where she's going, so that in case there is danger, we can rescue her again. <laughs> okay, Royan says, uh, "I I guess I'll head back to my home. I I need to wait until my uh, commanding officer returns from the caravan, but until then, I guess I don't really have any uh, assignments, so I guess I'll relax at home." Says, all right, well, good work today, kid. You're going to be the best knight of the stars there ever was. Well, I th thank you. I, I sure hope I'll be good someday. And she heads uh, heads off to her house. She died. I'm going to be so pissed off. Anyway. <laughs> her pan. Hello, Kerpan. What you... <laughs> Yep, dude. All right. As soon as I see Orbo come up, I pull out my dagger, hiss at him, <laughs> and scurry into the alleyway. Whoa, whoa crazy! Don't. No. I'm just here to fix your brain. That's all. I've never seen you before in my life. I'm the elk. <laughs> I broke a door. You got water. 
I, I point up to the rain like, yeah. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I'm thirsty. Uh, well, I can probably fix that. I'm a, I'm a healer. All right, I think the cure is water. Um, lots Kel, and lots to, of water. To do to figure out, as a creature that doesn't have to deal with concepts like thirst, uh, <laughs> what, what do I need to make to figure out like what what the f is wrong with this guy other than that his brain don't hurt? Oh um, <laughs> yeah, which part are you trying to figure out? Because if it's the drinking <laughs> thing, I've got a crowded brain, man. Yeah. There's a lot going it, on. Or, it's a little bit of both because Orbo knows that there was some watery shenanigans going on. So he's right. kind of like, uh, did Kirpan drink a big cup of evil juice while I'm looking? Um, if you uh, remember, the others that stared at the eye kind of commented and remarked about being thirsty. And you do also recall that the Knights of Edenmore and the crazed guy um, in particular both kind of made mentions about not looking at the eye and that being uh, a problem with thirst, um, a deadly problem with thirst. So uh, you would be able to kind of deduct such. Say, all right, champ, I think I can fix your thirst probably. And then we can simmer down and I can fix your brain once you're not thirsty anymore. The, the sound, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, all I can think about is my thirst. Okay, so well, if you can help me. You gotta let me touch you. Uh, I have to make physical contact with your slimy body. All right. <laughs> Get that touch in there. And as an aside, I, I never put away the orb, so it's just been in my hand this whole time. Just yeah, out okay. The, so. I, I don't care what he's got in his hand. I'm worried about the the patient. I know. I mean, Orbo may have looked at it inadvertently. That would be a possibility. How do I get thirsty? How do you get thirsty? Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a foreign concept. You can drink. But I don't have to. You don't have to, but... Thirst is like you need to drink. It's right. your body saying you need liquid. Look, I magic is in this world. You are magically thirsty, you know? That's that's how it works. Yeah. You're a robot well, with also you can't drown, so that'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Race in the game. Weird. Um, let's see. So you're on what? Protection from evil and good. All right, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Would that be retroactive? That's where I would be curious. Let's see. Um, be charmed or possessed? Sorry, you're sorry. Yeah, it says if they're already charmed, then they get advantage on any new saving throws. Threatened or possessed by such a creature. Okay. Um. All right. So then. Any further contact with this eye would be would be uh, protected for sure, uh, but I don't I don't think that would uh, particularly <clears throat> solve the thirst here. He's he's still very very thirsty. I say, all right, Kerpan, let's let's get your butt to the bar, because uh, you're drinking leaf water. And that's my gig. <laughs> leaf water. <laughs> These mud puddles were doing the trick till you came up. Look, man, you may have been thirsty, but once you saw me, you got thirsty. So come with me, friend. <laughs> or don't. But I'm not going to fix your brain out in the rain. That rhymes and it's ridiculous. All right. I'm going to walk forward on all fours, tongue out, just licking the grass as I go. <laughs> Good lord. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see. The, the water skin, man. Here, drink my water skin before you drink the dirt water. All right, as we walk back, I'm just chugging water skin. You chug that water skin. Do I have a water skin? 
You probably uh, didn't. You, I you would be surprised if you didn't you know, have a water skin. He would remember in the what I had. So you know what? You want to shuffle around in that bag and check out? No, I'm not gonna look. <laughs> I saw a muddy puddle and I'm drinking. That, that was good enough. Before I looked at my own bag. All right. So while while Orbo has been uh, coaxing Carpan to to head to the to the bar. Um, Gronson and Adhara, you, you both have been, uh, have en entered the, um, the tavern. Um, what would you like to do here? Well, I guess I should I explain where things are. Um, you see, you see two of the, the knights that, uh, were there last time. They seem to have, uh, kind of stayed. They've been relaxing and having a good time. Um, the bartender and his wife seem to be, um, continuing on with their their daily duties of cleaning things up preparing food and uh tending to the fire cool uh i'm gonna follow gronson's lead tbh i'll start by getting a, a nice ale at the bar i am yeah, what thirsty they have to drink sure um let's show that oh boy Oh well, there's not a lot of options, huh? There's not. It's a small town, and uh... Ooh, and grains. Yep, that's it. If you're hungry, that's what you get. Is it just like raw wheat? No, it's it's like uh, you know, like rice or a couscous. Yeah, some couscous, some quinoa, you know, things like things of that nature. Ancient grains. Yeah. <laughs> some Cheerios, ancient grains. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as you walk up, the uh. The tavern master kind of turns around, and uh, he's a rotund fellow that's uh, cleaning uh, an old mug that it looks like maybe one of the other astral knights had uh, handed back at the at the table. And uh, he looks and he says, uh, "What can I do for you? I've got some more ale. I've got some more meat. What would you like?" Uh, I'll I'll take an ale, my good sir. All I'll right. I'll take some ale as well. He turns around, kind of boisterously, fills uh, both. Uh, two two new kegs that he's pulled from underneath the bar stool or bar whatever what, what is the yeah, thing called okay. and uh oh he's got a few kegs that's uh what he does he you said you were filling up the kegs oh sorry for us. i was like damn we get a whole no, keg no, no, that's no. a deal he's, he's filling up the um the mugs yeah, the pint mugs. glasses there we go the mugs from the keg english is gotcha. hard for me but yeah Mug yeah tankard uh, yeah, he fills them up and uh, kind of smacks them onto the table and says, uh, two silver for each. Absolutely. Uh, there you go. Oh. Hey, uh, you came in here just yesterday, didn't you? Or maybe it was two days ago. How did your travels do? Well, we've had a an interesting time of it, to say the least. Yeah, that's for sure. Interesting. I'll tell you, what's interesting is this weather. Out of the blue, beautiful day, suddenly raining. Yeah, it's uh, funky, huh? Yeah, I've never uh, seen anything like it around here. But you know, weather, know here. weather is what it is. You know, none of us can truly predict what the weather's gonna be like. Oh, well. absolutely. That'd be some dark magic to understand the weather like that. Yeah, I think I think so. Uh, you know, I'm I'm one to just kind of accept what the weather is as it comes and hope for what I want later. Me too, me too. I can definitely understand that. It's one of the few things in life you can't change. Oh, absolutely. Well, I don't know. I've heard some people up in Raven Run did some weird, creepy stuff where they could control the weather, but. Ah, uh, I think they're doing some some evil work. I wouldn't dabble in that to save my life. And I'd hope you wouldn't either. Nah, that oh, sounds no, ominous. On, we would I'm on stay the far away narrow, from sir. I'm a good boy. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that while things were a little bit rough, things uh, seem to have gone decently. I mean, you're here after all. Oh. I sure hope the yeah. rest of the caravan comes along soon. Not too much worse for wear as it stands today. Hey, I'll drink to that. And he goes and uh, fills a mug up with his own ale. 
concoction. Cool. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's all drink. Yeah, we're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gronson, can you make another constitution save? Sure. Wow. Yeah, this seems Damn, to hit, dude. it seems to hit the spot. And uh all the kind of that that nagging feeling in the back of your mind, the, that that thirst that you've constantly had since you've been in Salt Watch, uh seems to kind of dissipate, go away, and uh you feel quenched. There we go. All I needed was a good ale. This hit the spot. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh would you like another? I think uh, I'll wait just a little bit, but thanks. Sure thing. Uh, you come back to the bar any time you need, and uh, well, I've got about three and a half more kegs before I need to start up a new new batch. Perfect. All right. So, shall we grab a table or? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, we can grab a table. Grab a table. Maybe Go we're, sit we're... somewhere. I'll do a table. Sit down, table. drink a while. Yeah, sit down, drink a while. That's Just perfect. Kind of grab a table. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> yeah. So once we get to the table, grab that table. We need to discuss some things. And I know the other two aren't aren't here, but what are we gonna do with that item that Kurpan has? I mean. Are we going to just face that guy alone with that item? Or are we going to try to get people to help us? I mean, he just wanted it brought back to... Like, he just wanted it brought to him. Well, are we going to just I mean, help a lich? <laughs> I mean, unless you'd rather I sacrifice myself for the team, which, of course, you know, I would be willing well, to do if, if you guys have a better idea. It just doesn't sit right with me to be giving that guy what he wants when it's this powerful and cause this much destruction at Salt Watch. It doesn't feel right at no, all. You're right. That's a very fair point. I just, uh, I don't know what our other options are. Well, if we can get some of the Astral Knights on our side, then we would have a lot of power going in there. Now, Kelly, the Astral Knights are the ones who want that item taken back to wherever the frick, right? That's the no, other, that's, other knights. Those are the Knights oh, of Edenmore. Knights. Yeah, the Knights of Edenmore are the, the green crested knights, and they're the ones that uh, that Is were that? trying to take the eye and uh, yeah. go back to Fort Bristolvane. And they were the ones who were using the, the fishermen as lures for whatever dark deed they were doing. I did not like those dudes. Yeah. They were not good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe we should talk to the astronauts. They might have a little bit more of an idea of what to what to do about this. We'll have to be rather I would love to not careful. die, possible. <laughs> yeah, but we have four or five days to get back. Maybe a day's trip back to the That's the good. the woods. So we have the time to to figure out what to do. Yeah, exactly. I use oh, none of my... I'm open to ideas, but, uh... I mean, I personally wasn't doing so hot against all of those weird water creatures uh, after my yeah. uh, power ran out. So, uh, I don't think I could fight a lich, for sure. I don't think any of us alone could fight a lich. Uh, maybe Orbo. <laughs> Possibly. <Not> even maybe. <laughs> maybe. Depending on what form he de decides to take. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure he's got some wacky forms uh, hidden away in there we haven't seen yet. We'll see. Show up yet, Kelly? Or yeah. Still Are they showing up yet? Me reenacting the Spider-Man scene. <laughs> the Spider-Man scene. Yeah. What's the Spider-Man scene? When he kisses him upside down in the rain. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, Spider Man. What? Orbo and Kirpan yeah. kiss. Or yeah, Orbo and Kirpan are, are kissing in the rain. Um, 
Yeah, at this point, as, as they've spoken for a second, uh, you guys kind of uh, make your way into into the tavern as well. Kick um, the door in. As you make it... <laughs> you kick the door in? No. I'm not an elk. As I don't you, have that power. As you make it into the tavern, uh, you're, like, dripping wet. It's It's been pouring out there, and you had to walk all the way through. You didn't kind of go, take a, a beeline straight to the tavern, so you're, you're drenched. Um... The tavern master kind of looks at you as well and says, uh, bit of a doozy out there. Here, come warm up by the fire. We've got plenty of drinks on hand. I do not understand your concept of cold, but my friend is thirsty. <laughs> We've come to the right place. We've got plenty of Hamish ale. And take all the Hamish ale you got. He, uh, <laughs> he looks a little perplexed and says, all of it, you say? You know, we've got four kegs of it. How much will it cost? Well, I usually don't sell them by the keg, to be honest. Um, it's usually two silver po- pieces for a pint, and uh, I have no idea the math behind that. But we'll keep the pints flowing, please. Let's 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 say. F- f- uh, let's see. It'd be five drinks, ten. Let's say five gold. I look around the bar. Do any of these other people look like they're heavy enough drinkers that they get in the way of Kirpan's conquest of these kegs? They would be drinking, uh, and he probably doesn't have a whole lot of backup, but uh, <laughs> if if you got the coin and that's what you're here for is literal kegs, um, <laughs> he, wouldn't, he, wouldn't, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't turn down a business arrangement. Rough math, a full-size keg is 62 pints. All right, 62. So that would be more than five then. I'd just say, like, let's just keep it flowing. <laughs> okay. And I say, name's Orbo. So that I would be... the guy whose shirt I'm wearing. We're looking at somewhere around four, 500 gold for all of them then. I ain't buying the kegs, man. You just said let it flow. All right, he's, uh, he fills up uh, a mug and hands it to... Uh, to Kirpan and says, uh, well, here you go. Turn the tab. I, I down it as fast as my lizard <laughs> gullet can drink. Do lizards drink alcohol? Now they do. Yeah, this one does. <laughs> <You're gonna find laughs> <that. laughs> Alright, yeah. Uh, you, you down it with uh, like complete vigor. Uh, the, the tavern master looks uh, a bit shocked, a little bit surprised. Says, Feisty, I'll grant you another. And he goes and fills up a second mug and hands it over to Kirpan. Does anything happen in my thirst? Because as I just you, shovel these pints back. This is very much not enough. Yeah, you need more. Like, you need to be in the water. You couldn't just drink the water and be, be good. You need to be in the water. Do any of those casks look lizard-sized? Not in particular. Uh, you could stick your head in it, maybe, or something, but you could definitely not fit your whole self inside one of these guys. All right. I start to glance around at the exits wildly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still pounding pints, though, All as right. I do that. Um, and he continues to be more and more surprised with each, with each ale that you down. Um, about about four or five in, he uh, kind of nervously looks at his wife, who is kind of doing like the cut it out kind of uh, face, I guess, to him. Like uh, mate, something's something's not right. Something's something's weird here. And uh, he he just kind of looks at you for a second and says, uh, that's, I think that's, that's plenty for today. Uh, perhaps you can come back tomorrow and pick up where you left off. Is he at the bar when he does that? Yes. All right, I still got the eye in my hand. I slam it on the bar, lean over and grab him by the collar. <laughs> I say, you better keep these drinks coming. You'll have something coming. All right, that's definitely some intimidation. Oh, boy. 
I think Ed Hara is noticing all of this and is like, I need to, like, in his mind is like, I need to get this freaking eye away from this dude. <laughs> um, I've made a mistake trusting her pan. The, the amnesia's fault. The the tavern master looks looks at uh, it in kind of complete shock and uh, as, in, immediately like yes yes of, of course and he kind of like stumbles and grabs one of the already dirty mugs that you've uh, used and, and starts to fill it again. Um, he's visibly disturbed and quite afraid. Um, you said the eye is just kind of lying on the table here. Is yeah, it, I guess it is right oh my now. God. <laughs> is it unwrapped? Is it unwrapped? Like, I, I never. It was just in my hand, yeah, and my dagger the other one. Right. Yeah, and to, to pick up the drink, I sheathed the dagger, but my, the eye was in my left hand the whole time. Oh, I've been man. focusing on the thirst, not the eye. All right. Um, After... His his wife uh, notices the the strange uh, object on the table and uh, asks, kind of. Asks out to Orbo because she's visibly frightened from from Kerpan and says, "What, what, what is that? Some strange trinket?" I say, because uh, I know I'm not supposed to look at the eye. I say, "Ma'am, do you have like a a bar towel I could wrap this thing up in? Uh, don't look at it, please, or don't look at it anymore." She's she's yeah she's been looking at it and. Uh, <laughs> I'm Please looking directly at kind it. Of, kind of like keeps staring oh. at it a little bit and says, yes, I've got some I've got some towels over here. And then looks over to the side, grabs the towel and tosses it to you. Okay, I'm gonna... I assume Kerpan is once more wrapped up in his uh, beverage consumption. Uh, yes, I would think so. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put a towel, <laughs> drape it on that bad boy. And bag it. All right, the uh, the barkeep's wife seems a bit dazed, not not quite. Uh, she she's not like uh, showing any symptoms yet, but she seems a little bit out of place. It'll, it'll be all right, ma'am. We're gonna fix this. And if you feel extremely thirsty, just ignore it. The the two knights right. that have been sitting by the table um, in the fireplace. They've been paying attention, and with the threatening uh, of the barkeep, they've like kind of put their hands on their weapons. Uh, yeah, weapons. They're, well, yeah, they're they're astral knights. They're allowed. That's what they're supposed to do. Um, they're not. They're they're just kind of watching things closely. They're they're not uh, you know causing any trouble yet or thinking about doing anything yet. But they're they're ready for if things go south. Mm-hmm. Did I notice this? Did you what? Did I notice they did this? I mean, it was pretty obvious when Kerpan like threatened the okay. the barkeep that uh, <laughs> things things got tense really quickly. With uh, with the eye now wrapped, I uh, I'm just like everybody just calm down. My friend has amnesia and is possibly cursed. <laughs> uh, he he won't do anything. Don't worry. The uh, the knight that was next to the the fireplace speaks up and she looks at at you, Orbo, and says, uh, "If he's cursed, then he needs to leave and perhaps find somewhere in Cimarron that he can fix his ailments." Well, there's a bit of a storm right now, so if it's uh, no big deal, we prefer to stay here till the storm ended. He's not well. That's understandable, but maybe keep him under under wraps a little more. Threatening our favorite barkeep is not really uh, the way to do things around here. I mean, he's your only barkeep too, right? Yeah, you better watch who he's talking he about. Is. I got a bad reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn about my bad reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I need to say more to them, but if I do, I'm just like, look, we just helped. Yeah, that's can't that. remember your actual captain's name, but we just did you guys a big favor. And if you taught your boss, I'm sure he'd tell you to cut us some slack. <laughs> uh, sh- sure, of course. I mean, we just don't want any trouble in here. Uh, I don't want no trouble either. That's why I brought him here so he'd stop drinking dirt water. This seems uh, like a quite a, quite the ailment. 
you see there's a few people that came in town that had the same thing for a while. I don't think they ever got cured. That will cure it. Probably. Well, if you do, let us know. Because there might be others in need out there that need the cure as well. I feel like I'm a very bad influence, because if they kept talking smack, I was going to show them the eye. <laughs> like... Just spread the thirst. Know? Yeah, be like, you guys feel thirsty? He's like, open up the towel, <laughs> flash in the eye. You've had the worst, now try the thirst. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, I guess if Kerpant is still busy drinking, I'm going to walk over to the table of my other friends. <laughs> put down the toweled eyeball. Alright. The toweled eyeball. And, uh, I'm gonna tell Chad Hara, so I don't know if you're paying attention, but, uh, Kerpan has a bit of a case of the, uh, the forgets. The forgets. He's, <laughs> a case yeah, I know of the forgets. up with him. He, uh, oh. definitely seems to be having a bit of a time of it. And I think he, he does. may have forgotten he had a certain, uh, eye in his inventory. And he may have looked at it. And no one told me any of this. So Yeah, I should have uh, I should have put the I should have given the eye to you, but I know he's a, a sneaky type, so I figured he could hide it from those knights that we didn't want to get a hold of it. He did a great job hiding it. Now the problem is we have to get it away it's from him and keep too it away. From well. Him. well, I got it. He's too busy yeah, no, drinking. Orbo's got it. He's just he drinking. Um, he, keep drinking Orvo. <laughs> yeah. No, Orgo ain't drinking. Orgo ain't drink. Everybody should drink. Orgo knows nothing <laughs> of thirst, apparently. I never drink. <laughs> um, a drunk druid seems very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound dangerous. Just become a deer. I know, I would try to do the mouse deer trick. Should not be. A Hell, wasted uh, elk? That would be that. awful. Wasted elk. <laughs> I could turn into um, an elk so that I could drink more. My stomach would be bigger. There you go. <laughs> I guess Adhara would say, uh, you know, Gronson and I were talking, we should maybe let the Astral Knights that we trust in on the whole orb situation. We're kind of, you know, I would like to live, but we're also kind of very much uncomfortable with giving this to a Lich, and if we can figure out some other option for getting rid of the curse, plus also not giving this very powerful artifact to a Lich. Um, yeah, I told them all about that. Oh, good. Okay. Well, did they have any ideas? They were all like, well, let's work on getting Salt Watch fixed, and then we'll talk about fighting your fairy tale zombie man. And so I feel like my half of the bargain is done. Yeah, we did get Salt Watch fixed, didn't we? <laughs> sort of, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> kind of. There's still. Stuff. There's still the green knights that we have to stop whatever they're trying to do, but since we gave them basically a, a magic fruit from the the sapping tree instead of the eyeball, um, what can they do? Just become zombies? No biggie. Yeah, Meaning. What do you think we should do, Orbo? I'm, I'm all for getting the army, getting these knights to come with us, because it's not like... Because, wait, I don't remember what he exactly said about your curse, but you just die in 10 days. Like, that's it, right? Like, he can't just, like, choose that you die, because, like, he's pissed. Right. I think that's the stipulation. So, I mean, hypothetically, really all we got to do, because there's no... I don't remember if you said that either. But I mean, if we just get the curse undone on you, also you're free to go. Yeah, that's so if like, you can undo the curse. Well, I don't know. This is some kind of astral knights. Maybe they got some high ho enchanter healer person. Yeah, maybe. We can check. Somebody who can cast remove curse. And maybe fix <clears throat> Kurpan's brain. Yeah. And I motion over to Kurpan, like, knee he deep still in his name. <laughs> yeah, if his brain isn't isn't fine isn't uh gets fixed hey, after this, his liver for sure is not yeah, going to be okay. <laughs> Send me some liver. Orbo stepped away. I want to stealthily sneak out. 
All right, well, let's, well, I guess let's roll for some stealth there. Oh, no. Friggin' Dennis the Menace over here. Wow. Um, is anyone, was anyone, like, actively watching for him? Okay. Probably not. I only have a passive perception of 11, so. All right. I only have 10, so, yeah, I'm not gonna right. see him. Kirpan makes his leave, um, as, as fast as he's made his way in. And, uh... Makes, makes his way out into the ring. He did not. I'm, I'm looking for a. Oh my god. I'm prowling in the hey, town, man. looking for a well. Oh my god, Kerpan! You're perusing the town looking for a well. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's see. It's raining. Why don't you just look up? So outside. Yeah, open of... your mouth. Not a note. Not it a works note. for turkeys. Let's, let's see if this works. That's true. <laughs> I'm thirstier than a turkey. One sec. Let me see if this works. Alright, do you see a separate map? I just see, like, the map of Astroloft. Okay, cool. That's what I was hoping to show you. Um, the inside of uh, Old Astroloft does not have a prominent well, but the, um, like, the little town outside of, uh, outside of the ramparts, known as Small Rock, does. Um, you're, you would probably know that off the top of your head since you are uh, a thief and kind of understand the inner workings of the town to an extent. Um, if I knew that from before ever coming here or oh, coming that's here true. the last time. That's true. You are a bit of an amnesiac. So maybe you wouldn't know that and you would just uh, constantly wander. I could do true. like investigation or something. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that then and see if you can find any places around uh, I'm really good at investigating. Good lord. <laughs> Great rolls tonight. Yeah. That's what my class is. Yeah, that's true. Well, except for the one constitution yeah, save. The one con save. The one thing that matters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, fr from this investigation here, you're able to tell that the main part of the town doesn't have a prominent well. <laughs> And that you're probably going to have to leave the and kind of go to the outskirts of the town uh, to find something like that. Right. Well, that's where I'm in. Heading heading out uh, as you as you head out, you you would have to go through the the guards by the door or by the entrances. All right. I mean, I'm not thinking that hard. I'm just looking for water. All right, you're just you're just heading that way. Yeah, I'm just going that way. All right, as as you head out, uh, the the two knights that were uh, kind of standing guard, uh, you 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 don't remember them, but uh, they seem to remember you. And uh, the the Lycan one looks at you, smiles, and says, uh, "Hey, good to see that you made it back. Have a safe travel." And uh, kind of nods you off as. You head head on out of the town. I, I just nod <laughs> back and scurry away. That's the last we ever saw of Kurt. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you'd be heading to, like I was saying before, you you would have head head headed towards Small Rock most likely. Um, there is a well there. What are, what would you do here as you come across the well? I'm going to try and pull up the bucket and drink it all. If that's not enough, I'll crawl in there. All Is right. Drunk? Yes. Sneaky can he be? Uh, apparently very. He's not in his right mind by any means. Um, yeah, drinking, drinking from the well is absolutely not enough still. And you still long to be in the water. Well, then I go in. All right. You jump into the well. Um, as as you're in the well, uh, I guess you are finally at ease. You are now <laughs> you are now in the well, uh, but you cannot breathe. So let's go for another Constitution save. That is true. All right. All right. See, there's his good rolls. 
Yeah. All right. I don't really have good con save rolls. So, I guess the rest of you have about fifteen minutes to figure out where the heck Kerpan went, um, or else things get a little bit hairy. But we'll see. All right. Look what you've done now. So I guess we're like back in the present. My motion over to Kerpan. I go, son of a bitch. <laughs> Where'd he go? Uh, where did he go? Barkeep. The, um, I put a gold piece on the table and I said, I think that'll cover it. The barkeep looks at you, uh, kind of puzzled and says, he, 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 he left out the door. And I, I, di- I didn't want to say anything. I was a bit worried that he'd yell at me again and threaten me. Wow. Well, did you see any where he was going? It's impossible to tell in the downpour. He just went out the window. Or out the door. Sorry, not window. Out the window. <laughs> that does help on her Oh, boy. Well, let's go find this fool. Luckily, it nice. it's raining, so there might be feet prints in the mud. There might be. That is true. There might be. You just follow the smell of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Okay. Yeah, I'm turning into a dog. You're turning into a All dog. Right. Turning into a dog. Sniff him out. I'm gonna sniff. Let me grab everyone. Here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're sniffing with gas. <laughs> sniffing with gas. <laughs> Doesn't that horror have Keen's uh, hearing and smell too? I believe he does. Yeah. yeah. So I At will least go... your Awu form should. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll sniff, sniff. So you got two sniffers. It's fine. We got two noses on the job. Sniff. <laughs> All right. It's yeah, got a big old motherfucker. With that, it's not super hard to tell. There's like a staggering puddle steps that are heading out uh, to the to the eastern exit. Um, Vaguely lizard man size. Yeah, the two two knights at the entrance uh, wave at you guys as well and say, "Oh, we just saw uh, Kerpan. He was heading this, this way." And they point to the the southern uh, outskirts of the town. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Good to, yeah, good to see you again. With us, right? Orbo's got the orb. I think so. Oh yeah, Orbo, I guess the orb is not in the body. <laughs> you have one? Um, Do you I have it wrapped up though, right? It. Well, it's inside me. Yeah, it merges into his oh, form right. when he becomes a, when he becomes dog. So nobody look at Orbo. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, Super not, that, I'm not that evil. That tentacle's growing out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It's the eldritch horror dog. <laughs> all right, so uh, you all head to Small Rock. It's a kind of the impoverished area of town, but it's also where um, the well is. It's what? Yes, it is also where the well is. Um, as as you kind of uh, search through the the mud in the town. You can tell that the tracks go directly towards the well. It's very obvious. Not jeepers. Ah, oh, Kerpan. <laughs> Let's go save him before he drowns. Yeah. Somebody may have to perform mouth to mouth if he's already taken in too much water. We'll see about that. All right, or or who barks? <laughs> what, what is he barking at? Well, I can't talk. Oh, He's okay. just agreeing. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, let's, let's go to the well and look in. All right, yeah. You peer, You all kind of peer over the the well and see, lo and behold, Kerpan is in the water. Uh, he has sunk into the bottom, but just kind of seems to be serenely sitting there in the water. Cool. Grons- What's Gronson's class? I'm a fighter. Okay. He's a um, strong boy. He's also a strong boy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think Ed Har will say, uh, I've got some rope. If one of us wants to stay up here and hold the rope, the other one wants to go down and pull him out. I can hold the rope if you need me to. That's fine. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll climb down and pull this boy out. All right. I hold with all my might. <laughs> all right. And I climb down to grab Kerpan and pull him out of the water. Alright, let's do um, let's do a quick strength on Gronson. 
And then, uh, or sorry, not strength, uh, athletics. Athletics, okay. Athletics? Or <laughs> did Timmy fall down the well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trouble the old well. All right, yeah, no, you ha Gronson, you have no problem uh, lowering Adhara into the well. Um, as soon as Adhara makes it to the water, though, the water's edge, Karpan, mm -hmm. you can tell that someone is out of the water and, and someone is kind of, uh, I guess, coming into the water with you. I draw my yeah. dagger. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna just try and grab him. Like, you know... I feel like Edhara is probably bigger than, than Kerpan is. I'm just gonna try and like wrap an arm around him and like try and pin his arms to his side. And just drag him back up All with right. me. Kerpan's not very strong. No, Kerpan is is a small wizard man. Um let's see, what what would, what would that even be? Because that would be like a I mean, grapple that essentially. Would be a grapple. Yeah. So I'll Which roll is athletics what? then. I'm gonna stand. It's it's uh, a roll off of athletics, isn't it? Yeah. You know that Mario Party mini what, game. Don't I get? Uh... You can do acrobatics instead if you're trying to get out. Where's he gonna yeah. go? He's in a well. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of like him trying to be a wiggly boy and get out of my arms. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we can do this until Frank drowns, and then we'll get him out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed him. Yeah, right. you did. Um, you were able to suppress his uh, his writhing, stabbing tendencies. Yeah, as as he tries to to fight back. Um, all right, Gronson, are you able to hoist them back up? That's the question. Sure. Because you're now pulling two people. Two people, and one is squirming quite a bit. I'm sure. One is trying to squirm at the very least. Yes. <laughs> well, no. he doesn't have to pull the entire way. Like I can also climb up, right? Okay, that's fine. Is that what you would prefer instead? I mean, yeah, I don't think him pulling the weight of two people is is, is going to be um, as useful as just, like, I have, like, I can climb up the rope. Oh, okay. I can provide that, like, half-tension slack so you exactly. can get... Exactly, he's kind of making it a little bit more tense so it's easier for me to climb up. That works. I'll, I'll take it. Work together. Yeah, that, that sounds cool. good. Um, well, right. with that, you're able to pull Carpan out of the well into the water. Or, out, sorry, out of the water, into the water. <laughs> out of the well, onto the ground. Into the rain, I guess, but not into the water. I'm I'm still holding on to this boy, because I don't want him getting all wiggly and jumping back in the well. This is literally just a water version of out of the uh, frying pan and into the fire. Exactly. <laughs> if this boy starts wiggling and jumps back in the well, I'm not going back in after him. It is actually the Mario Party game. <laughs> actually, the Mar what 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 is the Mario Party game? game. Oh, we're talking about tilfs. grabbing <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> oh, I know what game you're talking about now. Yeah. Yeah, one guy's on the crane, and all the other people are dolls, and you sit there like yeah. wiggle. And you try and pull him up. I, I know what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, you try about. and draw him into the fight. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, so you've you've successfully pulled him out of the well. And uh, with that, it is it is about uh, a little over eight o'clock. So we'll we'll stop it here and uh, we will figure out what you guys want to do next. It sounds like you want to seek uh next time yeah it sounds like you you want to to seek uh not asylum but seek uh assistance from the astral knights um so it sounds like that's where you're going next we'll see you never Hello. know kerpan might find another world to jump into or a large body of water. then we will leave them <laughs> back into the sea with you <laughs> <laughs> Reverse evolution. The lizard crawls back into the ocean. <laughs> I would have stayed in the primordial soup if I'd known there were going to be days like this. <laughs> All right. Well, any any last things before we uh, we call it quits here? Uh, Smash that like and subscribe button. <laughs> 
All right. Well then, yeah, we'll we'll finish it up. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out, and uh, we'll give our, our quick shout outs. Our virtual tabletop we're using is Roll Twenty. Our music mm-hmm. and ambiance is Tabletop Audio and Incompetech. Right now, we're mostly just using Tabletop Audio here, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, for our battle maps and world map assets, they all come from Two Minute Tabletop and Dungeon Draft. And uh, all of our items, armor, emblems, and other things uh, come from GameIcons.net. And then the rest of the artwork is random stuff from DeviantArt and other random places like ArtStation. And uh, I have attributed those in the description. You can hang out with us on Discord. There's a link in the description. And uh, we stream every Monday at 7 p.m., except for next week. We will not be here next week because it is a holiday. But other than that, we usually stream on Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Be there at B-Square. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you around. Yeah. Smash that like and subscribe button. (laughs) Smash your head to the keyboard.